is a gym over here that was the only thing that was here. Um, mm. In fact, this gym over here um, is where I originally taught Taekwondo. Oh, really? One of the first gyms, yeah. I actually taught Barack Obama. No That's way. one of my biggest claims to fame. So in addition to taking a couple of companies to pump like this, I've kicked Barack in the head several times. <laughs> he seemed so. like he'd take it. So Jeff, hey. welcome to Light Bank. How's it's it good going? Good to have you. Good to see you. Come on in. Light Bank itself is probably best known for the entrepreneurial DNA of my partners, Brad, yep. Brad Keywell and Eric Lefkowski, that have founded six companies and generated about $16 billion in value. Um, the companies they founded were all in this building, Interworkings, Ecologistics, Media Ocean, Groupon, most okay. notably, and the two companies that are currently working on Tempest and Uptake. You know, the incubation opportunities are usually that great coming together of an idea or a thesis we've been grinding on for a while with people we know within our network that are great executors, okay. that are attracted to the same thing we do. Yep. We bring them in, we wrap the right people around them, provide them their initial capital, and just let them run and get after it. One of the companies up there in our space that we saw, New Bundle, same thing. So we do a lot within financial services. We realize one of the biggest financial services and hurdles young families are making around fertility is yep. having a baby. So we said, how can we solve this? How can we get there? So we worked on the idea, looked at it from the financing aspect, from the insurance aspect, from a benefits aspect as well, and said, wait a second, we know the right people in all these, in, in all these disciplines, we have the right technologists, we have the right leaders. So we incubated and got it started right there in our office. Hmm. And they're off to the races. It's good stuff. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. So okay. I'm kind of a Midwest guy through and through. Yep. And grew up born and raised in Cleveland, went to school in Ohio, uh, went to college in Bowling Green State University. The Harvard of Northwest Ohio, if you're familiar <laughs> with it. 20,000 kids in the middle of cornfields of Ohio. Went to law school in Toledo, just 25 minutes Did you want to practice law? Originally, because I think everybody from our generation watched too much LA law and thought being a lawyer was cool. Yeah. And being a second generation, first generation Italian, I had to go to law school, had to become a lawyer. Okay. That was the thing <laughs> to do. It's and, part of the rules. Yeah, part of the rules. Um, had to be legitimate. And then I practiced for about, um, I got my first job practicing law here. Okay. Um, and started out as a trial lawyer, then as a litigator, and then realized I was going to court every day, beating the fuck out of people, where all these other brilliant people I was meeting were actually building things while yeah. I was destroying them. And those mm -hmm. brilliant people tended to be technologists or people in technology companies. Yeah. So I scrapped the litigation work, started my own law firm helping technology companies. Really? And from the, and started doing a lot of venture financing, a lot of venture funding, um, and then after that, um, a guy I was trying to get business from here in town, um, his legal business said, "I won't give you my business, but I will hire you as my first general counsel." Hmm. So that's what brought me into technology hardcore from that standpoint Got inside it. of companies. So I started raising money with him. What company was that? Spirian Technologies. Okay. So this is back in 2001. So. You know, great time to be in a technology company right off the bus. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, and um, that's what started it all. So what part of town are we in right now? We're still in, uh, I call River North. Okay. Uh, River, River North. North. We're getting to the Fulton River District. And you said this River North has been kind of a transformational area? Completely. Yeah. When I when we, we were back here in the early 2000s, there really wasn't much here. None of these apartment buildings were here. There's a gym over here. That was the only thing that was here. Um, in mm. fact, this gym over here um, is where I originally taught Taekwondo. Oh, really? One of the first gyms, yeah. I actually taught Barack Obama. No That's way. One of my biggest claims to fame, in addition to taking a couple companies to pump like this, I've kicked Barack in the head several times. <laughs> he 
seems so. like he'd take it. He was just a totally great, down to earth guy. Yeah. He was fun. It's like how I would teach my students to keep their hands up was I could kick them in the side of the head gently, of course. <laughs> um, so that's my favorite, Brock, keep your hands up. But uh, he can actually probably have me killed now. And... <laughs> I know from a recruiting perspective, oftentimes when we're trying to relocate people to the Midwest, they're interested in opportunities, but their fear is after that company or if something doesn't work out with that company, are there going to be other opportunities for them? Yeah. You know, uh, is the market too small if they come into it and will they be able to find other opportunities? So I think the biggest thing we got to get them over is just the winter. If we can get them through the winter, that's fine. <laughs> But as far as the opportunities, if you look at what's happening here in the market, well, we see firsthand, like Uptake, recruits Ganesh Bell, used to be the chief digital officer at GE Digital, brings him here to become president. So you've got senior level talent looking at Chicago going, this can be a place for me. And then even one of our companies, HDVI, heavy duty vehicle insurance. We relocated that company from the West Coast here because of the talent that here, because of the opportunity that's there. Yeah. And I think while that may have been a fair concern five, ten years back, it's not now because you've got companies the size of Facebook here, Google, Coinbase, and then you've still got great private companies that even went public. You've got Groupon, and you've got Grubhub, you've got those types of things. Yeah. And a thriving early stage community. So there's plenty of opportunity now for these companies. How do the outside venture capital firms look at Chicago? I'm almost a little pissed at how they view it because it's this feeding frenzy because on any given day, I get those calls from everybody, Excel, Sequoia, Bain, and great firms. I love yeah. working with them. They're like, hey, who's coming up for their B? Who's coming up for their C? And I think the later stage, or the West Coast firms, for it to make sense for a partner to put that type of time into a deal and for them to get on a plane, like they just want to make sure they can write later stage big checks. So I think for the earlier stage stuff, they're not coming, but for the later stage stuff, they come here because the talent's great, yep. the companies are super strong, and they can write a $20, $30 million check. You know that money's in really good hands. Yep. You know that company's proven its marks and can scale, and so that's when they come. So we're in a lot of great deals, like Bain's in Hierology with us. Um, we've got Tola Capital that's in Snapsheet. We've got uh, Vista that's in a, bought a bunch of our companies as well. So you see a lot of the later stage companies come to town, um, NEAs and bunch of our companies as well. So when it time's right, they're here. So looking five years out, you feeling still pretty strong and bullish on Chicago? Yeah, I think five years out, you're gonna see Chicago on par with San Francisco. Like, people aren't just gonna talk about San Francisco and New York. They're gonna say San Francisco, Chicago, New York. Because we'll have the type of success, because of the culture and the community that's here, and the quality of talent, and the exits I see coming on the horizon, and all the influx of both talent, outside talent and outside capital coming in, this is going to be one of the meccas that people are gonna think of first when it comes to technology and building and scaling their communities. So I couldn't be happier, more excited about the future of this place, and it's just great to be part of it.